Hi, I'm Dominique Charpentier. I work as a full-time composer and I'm here to help you with tips for aspiring composers. Today's tip is invest in good gear. So you'll obviously need some gear to record yourself and to produce your music and you will probably need some specialized gear according to the kind of music you do. So if you take for example uh, Michael Stein, the composer of the original soundtrack of uh, the famous uh, Netflix TV show Stranger Things, he has 79 synthesizers in his studio. That's a lot. You can Google it to see how it looks. If you take me, for example, in my studio, I have a nice acoustic piano, a bunch of synthesizers, uh, Prophet 5, Moog Matriarch. I have a good audio interface, a very powerful laptop, MSI, a big screen, a good uh, focal monitors, headphones, a bunch of microphones, guitars, other things. So a lot of things, you know. And it's quite expensive. I think it's uh, around um, 30,000 to 40,000 euros. But the good news is you don't need that uh, when you're starting uh, your journey as a composer. I didn't start with all of that. I just started with a shitty laptop and a, a little software, you know, which wasn't even made uh, to record music, it was a uh, notation software. And uh, I think I composed my first uh, paid gig uh, with uh, like uh, a cracked illegal uh, version of uh, Ableton, Ableton Live on my shitty laptop, you know. And I didn't have uh, even a keyboard, a MIDI keyboard to play the notes. I just played the, the notes uh, on, the, on the keyboard of the laptop. So, that's to reassure you that uh, don't be afraid you know, to start with uh, what you have with just uh, small things. Uh, then you eventually uh, you will uh, have better gear. But that's exactly the, the point of uh, the today's video. So what do you need to start making music and good quality music? Because of course you are competing with uh, a lot of other musicians, uh, artists, composers. So you absolutely need to have a professional uh, quality level of, of audio recordings. So what you need to make music is uh, not complicated. You will need a computer, a powerful computer with a powerful CPU. Uh, you can have uh, either a PC or uh, a Mac, that's not a problem, it's uh, what you prefer. Just keep in mind that the Mac uh, are uh, m much expensive. Uh, so you need a good CPU if you, are, uh, if you want to have uh, a PC. Uh, you will need at least, I think, an i7 uh, pr processor. And uh, you'll need also a good amount of RAM, so I would advise a 16 gigs uh, minimum. Then you will need a DO, Digital Audio Workstation. So again, it's not very expensive and you have a lot of discounts for uh, students uh, nowadays. And you can even get uh, a software for free with some piece of gear. For example, if you buy a MIDI keyboard, sometimes they will offer you uh, a starter version of the, the software. So you can use, I use uh, um, Live 11 from Ableton, but you could use Pro Tools, Logic, uh, Cubase, uh, Reason, anything you want. All the software are good. It really depends on what you like and what kinds of music you do. So for example, if you do electronic music, I think uh, Reason uh, is good, also Ableton Live but uh, maybe you don't do electronic music, I don't know. So just think about what you do and uh, maybe you can search a little bit on, on the web to see uh, what would be best for you. Then you will need a microphone to record uh, acoustic instruments or, or your voice if you are a singer. 
of course, you can also use uh, some uh, fake uh, sounds, you know, like VST uh, sounds. But I would strongly advise you to at least record some of the instruments, uh, real instruments. And if you are a singer, of course, you will need a microphone to record your voice. Uh, so again, it's not very expensive nowadays. You can have uh, very good microphones uh, at uh, an affordable price. I would advise you to look for uh, Rod microphones or Bayer Dynamics, for example because they do very good microphones and it's not very expensive. But you have a lot of other companies doing uh, amazing pieces of gear. Uh, then you will need an audio interface, which will be something that you put um, uh, between your microphone and your computer. Uh, again, it's not expensive. You, you can buy from companies like Audient or uh, Focusrite but you have a lot, a lot of, of choices. Then you will need a studio monitors uh, or headphones. And uh, I guess if you are looking at this video is, is because you are just starting. So you won't be able to record in a perfect uh, acoustically treated room. So I think it doesn't make sense to buy very expensive monitors. I think it would be best at the beginning if you buy good headphones, like for example from Bayer Dynamic, instead of buying uh, very expensive studio monitors. I have both and I use, I use both because my room is not perfect, so, and, and that works for me. And then uh, you will need uh, a MIDI keyboard, I, I mean it's not mandatory, you, it's not, uh, you, you can survive without it, but I think it's uh, very useful when you want to, to record uh, MIDI, you know, with uh, using uh, VST instruments, it's quicker to do it on a MIDI keyboard and again, it's not very expensive. So in total, uh, more or less, you will need uh, 2,000 euros right, in dollars, in uh, US dollars, it's like almost 3,000 uh, US dollars uh, to start making music and have uh, a professional uh, um, audio quality, you know, the, the, the same level of your uh, other artists that you can hear on Spotify. So it's not very expensive, so, but maybe you don't have the money right now and that's fine. So just uh, when you have the money, invest in the first uh, piece of gear that you need. So if you already have a computer, which I think, I, I guess you have, because nowadays almost everybody has a, a, decent, a decent computer. So maybe you will need to invest in the audio interface first or in the microphone, I don't know. So just think about this and uh, invest wisely, you know. So. Uh, don't buy uh, useless uh, pieces of gear uh, just because you've, you've seen it on, uh, on YouTube or because uh, someone famous is, is using it. So you, you really need to think as a CEO, you know, you're not only an artist, you're also uh, a chief of a company and uh, you have to make wise choices. So think about the future so when, you, when you buy a piece of gear. It's not just for two months, you know, it's, it will be for a lot of years. And then you also maybe will have to change this piece of gear. That means that you will have to sell it to then buy a new one. So don't buy uh, a crappy pieces of gear. It's better to wait a little bit and have the money to buy something at, at least which is decent and with uh, you know good reviews and something that everybody says yes it's it's a good piece of gear and uh, i think that's it uh, for today so as you know i want to finish uh, each of my videos with a practical tip so i, I explained the the things about the gear so Right now, what you can do after watching this video is uh, thinking about what you have. So I have, for example, if you have a computer, you have already an instrument, but you don't have all the rest. So 
okay, you, you can say, I will, I will start uh, saving money to invest in an audio interface, a microphone and a digital audio workstation. That could be the thing that you do today after watching this video. But for example, if you are a singer, you already have a little bit of things, you know, to record and, and everything. You already have a, a little setup, you know. Maybe you can say, okay, I have all of these things, but maybe the weakest uh, piece of gear of my setup is my microphone. So maybe I could start saving money and see what microphone I could buy to improve the quality of my music. So that is uh, my advice for today. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like uh, what you see and to hit the notification button. And of course, feel free to leave comments in the section below and to ask questions if you have uh, questions about the gear, if you want me to make a list uh, of what I have or what I can advise you to, to use, feel free to, to leave a comment about that. And uh, see you next time.